In this session, let us take a case study revolving around current ratio. Have a look at the screen. Assuming the current ratio of the company is 2, state in each of the following cases uh, whether the ratio will improve or decline or will have no change. Question 1. Payment of current liability. Question 2. Purchase of fixed assets by cash. 3. Cash collected from customers. 4. Bills receivable dishonored. 5. Issue of new shares. Let's analyze one by one. Case 1. This is about payment of current liability. Here, if you are going to assume current asset is greater than current liability, then any payment of current liability will improve current ratio. Rather, if you assume current asset is equal to current liability, then there will be no change in current ratio for payment of current liability. On the contrary, if you assume that current asset is lesser than current liability, then any payment of current liability will deteriorate the current ratio further. Moving on to question 2. Purchase of fixed assets by cash. Here, current asset is getting reduced without any changes in current liability. And because of that reason, we can say current ratio will decline. Moving on to case 3. Cash collected from customers. In this case, debtors are getting converted as cash. So, there is no change in current asset. So, we can say there will be no change in current ratio. Case 4. Bills receivable dishonored. Here, bills receivable balance will come down and debtors balance will go up. Okay. It means there is no change in current asset. So, no change in current ratio. Case 5. Issue of new shares. See, when new shares are issued, there will be increase in current asset without any change in current liability. So, we can say current ratio will improve. 